World Quizzing Championships takes place on Saturday, December the 5th, and here's your All Things Quiz Guide to players who could be in with a chance of winning. Three past winners are likely to be competing, and all are in with a good chance of winning. Olav Jotunt of England would be keen to make it three consecutive titles, having won three out of the five competitions, not to mention the inaugural event in 2003, as well as four European titles, Jotunt is a specialist in the international quiz curriculum. Kevin Ashman holds the record of most world titles with six, and he's finished in the top three on another six occasions. The man with the best claim to the title greatest of all time will surely be there or thereabouts. As two will Pat Gibson. The four-time champion has finished in the top three a massive 13 times. He's been taking part in a lot of online quizzing during the pandemic, and match sharpness could be one of the factors in his favour when margins are so slim between the very best. Looking outside of the UK and three-time second place finisher Steve Perry of the USA will be looking to go one better than the last couple of events and take the top spot. He has however spent much of 2020 saving lives as a doctor and has himself said that he doesn't feel prepared for this event. However well he does in this quiz, Steve is one of the true champions of 2020. Didier Bruyer of France could cap an eventful year with a podium finish and with the form he's been showing in online quizzing he will definitely be one to watch. One of the quiet guys of quiz, Didier has made steady progress over the last decade and will be keen to show that his second place finish in 2017 is the first hint of more to come. Tero Kalyalevo of Finland has had four top three finishes, including third last year. One of the big hitters of the European quiz scene, Tero has the right blend of knowledge to be able to compete with the very best. Finally in the group of podium regulars is Ronnie Swiggers from Belgium. He has come second twice and third once. Perhaps more significantly, he's been performing consistently strongly in online quizzing during the pandemic, performing well in quizzes both in and out of his natural comfort zone. This could be a mark of a man on a mission. He is humble, likeable and talented. This could be his year. There are many players who have been consistently in the top 10 and who could on their day make a challenge for the title. Igor Habal is one of a number of Estonians who have the potential to break through. His European Championship performances have shown a growing breadth of topic coverage. Thomas Gorsetter and Erling Martin Halk of Norway are both talented seasoned campaigners, as is Tom Troch from Belgium. Their performances over many years in European Championships show that they can make their transition from the European to world greatness. Also one to keep an eye on is Ian Bailey from England. Ian is the reigning European champion and he's never far away from the top echelons in any competition he plays in. Like all of the top players, Ian takes his quizzing seriously and last year proved that persistence can pay off. Others to look out for include Mark Grant of Wales. He's a highbrow specialist whose only Achilles heel is the lowest of lowbrow content. If he's been putting targeted work in on his weaker areas, he will certainly be around the top 10. Also around the top 10 could be Lorcan Duff and Mark Henry from Ireland. Both have emerged in recent years as truly world-class quizzers with a broad knowledge base. The explosion in top-level online quizzing in recent months means that there could definitely be some surprises coming from North America. Not that it would be a surprise if Troy Mayer, Tim Polly, Yogesh Rout, Victoria Gross or Raj Diwalia did well, but as well as those known big hitters, some players hitherto unknown to the World Championships could do very well indeed. Finally, a few players to look out for. Dal Jackson from the UK has been impressive this year. Not just in his quizzing, but in his overall contribution to online quizzing. Dave McBride of Ireland has had a special year lifting the Mastermind title and leading his Ireland team to the quarterfinals of the Quizzing World Cup. Teos Raja of the US has shown some serious ability in the Mimir format, and if he competes in the WQC he could well make a mark, as could Evan Lynch, whose form in Mimir contests has been outstanding, his mastery of tough questions has been something to behold. There are also some battles to be the continental number one that could see the likes of Vino Sanjay and Supi Bhattacharya battling out for bragging rights in Asia, while in Australia Ross Evans and Issa Shorts will be aiming to break their tight score from last year. The title of best female quiz was taken last year by Victoria Gross, but Doriana Sharola of Croatia shouldn't be discounted, and Susanna Brooks and Anne Hegarty will be looking to put themselves in contention. There are also some notable quizzes who won't be attending, and we will miss them, but hopefully they will be back next year. All of this without considering the specialists who might win individual genres, which quite frankly could take up an entire video on its own. Suffice to say that the WQC offers many types of quiz glory, from overall success to genre success or age group success. But who have I missed? Will there be a contender from Asia or Africa? Who has been silently building their knowledge up in the last year? Let us know in the comments below. One thing's for sure we will find out on Saturday. Best of luck to everyone competing. Thanks for watching this video on all things quiz. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button 
And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more like this, then click subscribe. And to the left, you can see some other videos you might enjoy.